Hello, I'm Sean. I'm a technical designer here at AM Solar, and I'm here to introduce you to the basics of a DC solar setup. And I'm here to show you how to not be intimidated by solar. A lot of people find the setups and the diagrams intimidating, and I'm here to show you it's actually not as complicated as it might seem. So here's the essential uh, parts of the system. Um, we'll start with the solar panel. So you can have one panel, you can have 20 panels, uh, however many are going to fit on your vehicle. But all of the solar power is going to come into the panels, and however many panels you have, they're all going to feed into a roof combiner box. And the roof combiner box is then going to take all the power from the panels and feed it into what's called a charge controller. Now what this charge controller is going to do is it's going to most efficiently convert the solar power energy and transfer it into a battery. So it's going to take all this energy and pump it into the battery until the battery is full. Now, once you want to actually use power from the battery, you need what's called an inverter. And what the inverter does is it steps the power from a typical 12 volt battery up to 120 volts, which you see for standard household appliances. So what you can basically do then is connect the battery to the inverter and then plug in any household appliance into the inverter and it will be drawing energy out of the power out, excuse me, out of the battery that was provided by the solar power. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple system. Uh, all of the wires and the fuses aren't shown here, but these are the essential components to give you the power, to store the power, and then to use the power.